thank you very much for coming in. We do have the best of the season, mm -hmm. uh, the very iconic, of course, to begin with, the mandarin, that it seems like a mandarin, but actually it's a chicken in the bath. Okay. The hazemock trout, a very um, um, Eastern classic um, treat. Today, so we have the maverick that is more focused on the history. So you would have uh, an historical explanation of the dishes, and then we have the guide that is more focused instead on the kitchen and culinary aspects. So you will have cooking techniques, products, more information about that. And then you have as well the adventurer that is the card that you choose if you would like to have an intimate lunch. Uh, so you will focus more on your experience, uh, your own company, and we will be very discreet. And here I have a kind reminder for you, just in case you will forget. So once you pick your card, please just uh, place it over the card holder so that okay. we know what you choose. So Nipot family, it's basically a little bit more famous in the or a uh, Portugal port, they are doing, uh, they are leading producers for fortified wines. And this is a collaboration that they started in uh, Austria. So here we have uh, something really interesting, it's a variety that gives a lot of, when you develop a little bit more savory character, <laughs> and a lot of fruits, red fruits, that you will find this sunberry red fruits, some raspberries, and uh, a lot of peppery notes that add in these extra layers of flavor for your menu. So Thank very you. light, very elegant, extremely fine grain Chinese, velvety, silky, a uh, lot of acidity, which basically it's very important to cleanse your palate from for the intense flavors that you find uh, on your menu and help you with your next bite. Give Thank it a little you. bit of time, even if it's quite young, it uh, needs a, a little bit of aeration, it will develop, it will open up, it will get a little bit more kind of meaty aromas, this kind of leathery notes as well. Here is the leaflet. Um, one thing I would like to let you know is the leaf is purely for decoration, but you can eat everything else there. The gorgeous hay smoked trout. At the top for you, madam, we do have the garden of Sietra caviar, baby jam, and dive and chicory. Please, when you're having a bite, do not hesitate uh, to take some sauce from the gentleman relish that is laid at the bottom and uh, pickled lemon fluid jelly. Thank you so much. The lobster. The lobster is being cooked in Josper, that is a Spanish barbecue cooked with charcoal and uh, one piece of applewood that is giving a fantastic smoky aroma, very gentle. It's uh, served with a crab, a lemon, a mayo, sorrel, rock sapphire, and salicornia, otherwise, very well known as um, sea herbs. Because when you're having a bite from that, actually you can feel the pop from uh, sea minerals and sea water. What is called as a soup is actually a uh, very nice sauce that is made from the peel of the cucumber, sardine vinegar, and a seaweed uh, gelatin that is called gelanef. So it has the texture of uh, the soup, but actually it's cold when the lobster is gonna come warm. 
Thank you very much. We can call it as well as a middle course. I would like to ask you please to have a deep spoon so you can combine all the layers together. And of course, everything that you can see, it's edible. It's almost like a painting, right? Yeah. Thank you. Madam, as you request, we serve it with a beautiful black truffle that is coming from Western Australia. It has a very nice, nutty and uh, fruity character. Combine this dish. At the top, we do have a beautiful uh, barbecued uh, fennel. And on the side is actually the duck with a bank of breadcrumbs and five spices uh, like star anise, ginger, clove and central pepper. Thank you very much. Thank As you're you having a bite from the main protein, you can go all around to uh, discover some more new flavours. Because the sauce is pretty intense, I left it on the side so you can use it as far as you like. So, here you have a famous tipsy cake. You will find a brioche with vanilla cream, sauterne wine and brandy. And on the side we have a spitrous pineapple that has been brushed with apple caramel. So this one, one of the favorite things of Victorians to do because if they have any refrigerations, when they had really hard bread or biscuits or cakes, they were dipping inside the alcohol to make it softer. So Heston wanted to, give, to do this uh, thing as well, to make the brioche with a lot of alcohol inside. And on the other uh, dish, the wrong speech is cut is the last you know Titanic the movie right so it was the last dessert that has been served before they died on the Titanic so you have a roast peach with um, yogurt cream on the side and uh, white peach sorbet on the side as well thank you very much So here we have the ice cream trolley. So on this um, pot I have the liquid nitrogen and here I have the vanilla custard cream. I have the um, filo page three cones there that I'm gonna put a little bit of raspberry compost inside on the underneath. Yeah. And here I have three different topics to put in the end of the ice cream. You choose what you want. We have apple and popping candy. We have meringue of raspberry and yogurt and hazelnut with chocolate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start to put inside the vanilla cream. And then I'm gonna start to add nitro. So I would like you to guess how, how many degrees do you think that this is? Yeah, 
minus 196 degrees. And it's getting inspiring for a lady that her name was uh, Mrs. Marcel Agnes. She was the ice lady of England. And now we need to check if it's ready. As you can see, the texture has been already started to be frozen, but it's not ready, so we need to add a little bit more. So, would you like to choose uh, one of your toppings? Okay, raspberry meringue with yogurt. And for you, sir, a hazelnut with chocolate. So, you can see here as well, the texture, like it's frozen. And for you, sir, have the nut with chocolate. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you.